Glutes are some of the most important and undervalued muscles in your body, and yet most people don't know how to train them properly or get out what I call gluteal amnesia. Strong glutes assist in bearing load for your entire body, ultimately taking pressure off your spine and acting like a shock absorber. Some research has shown that if you have well-strengthened glutes, you could be eight times less likely to have future back pain. And let's be honest, polls have also shown that a well-taken-care-of rump roast is one of the top features of attraction in both men and women of the opposite sex. Oh, geez, look at the butt on that. Yeah, he must work out. So now let's look a little bit into the anatomy of the glutes. There are three main muscles that we're gonna be talking about here, which include the gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. The main function of these muscles is to facilitate abduction, external rotation, and internal rotation of the thigh. There are many reasons why the glutes are dormant in most people. And the biggest is because that we sit too much. We are not meant to sit hours each day. This will tighten the hamstrings, it'll deactivate your glutes, and put unnecessary pressure on your spine, causing facet issues, spinal stenosis, or even bulging disc. The next is that even when we are standing, rarely do we do deep squat or lunge in our daily activity. The glutes are the most activated in a deep lunge or squatting position, yet the catch-22 of this is that most people don't do these movement patterns because they have weak glutes. Imagine that. The next is that even the people exercising regularly are doing the wrong workouts. Long distance running or biking are two of the worst exercises for your glutes. If you're not doing sprints on incline, then you're more than likely not getting them activated. Even people who lift weights have faulty movement patterns that misalign with their goals of strengthening and growing glutes. So step one of getting amazing glutes is isolation, contraction, and activation. You wanna make sure your glutes are firing in the most basic scenarios. One way to assess is to simply place your hands on your glutes and squeeze one side at a time, feeling the contraction while doing so. This helps independent control and the first step of awakening this process. The other way of doing this is to go in a kneeling position doing the same thing. And then the last thing to do would be pinpointed clamshell, where you place your thumb into your glute med, feeling the activation during the abduction movement, like so. Step two is choosing the right exercises. So research has clearly shown over the years that the hip bridge is the most superior of any glute activation exercise. The most common is lying on the ground and lifting your hips up as high as they'll go, but to do the right way, there's several things to keep in mind. You wanna make sure your knees are at 90 degrees so that your hamstrings and quads aren't doing all of the work. And next, you wanna drive your heels down into the ground while simultaneously pushing your feet away from your body. Then you wanna focus on the contraction at the top by holding for at least three seconds. Most people think that the higher up that they extend, the more work they're doing on the glutes, but they're absolutely wrong. Glutes are only active up to 10 degrees past midline, so anything further is just targeting lower back and ultimately making your glutes less engaged. The next exercise to throw in is lunge variations. Now, certain types of lunges target the quads over the glutes, so choose wisely. Deep curtsy reverse lunges are by far the best variation you can do if you had to choose one type of lunge. The cross-sectional movement allows all three gluteal muscles to become engaged. And of course, the deeper you go, the better. It's good to note that the more forward your knee is or shin angle, the more your quads will take the pressure of the exercise. When leaning forward more and driving your butt back, it'll cause more hip extension and ultimately activate your glutes harder. So you can do variations by adding a band around the hips to get more pressure on the glutes at the top of the extension, as seen. The last type of exercise to consider is any hip extension, since this is one of the main functions of the gluteus maximus, the largest muscle in your body. Exercises such as Romanian deadlifts and multiple variations, hip thrusters as mentioned before, or deep squats. So use these to help strengthen your glutes, help to grow your glutes, and I hope this helped. Uh, comment and like below, and hope to see you next time.